Good morning, it's January 7th. Uh, this is going to be a no talking walk. I just wanted to give a brief weather report before I open the door and step outside. It's a minus 24 Celsius at the moment, which is about minus 10 Fahrenheit. Windshield is minus 40, which is the same in both um, scales. And it's snowing and blowing. And I'm gonna walk around the lake and uh, that's it. That's the last thing I'll say until I get uh, home again. So, you can get a bit of ambiance on a nice January day here in lovely Regina, Saskatchewan. Also, by starting the introduction in here, I get to put on my glove and everything while it's still warm. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, one quick adjustment here before I really launch into this. I noticed I was out of focus, so I had to fix that. And I want to make sure that I've got a button done up on the bottom of my parka. So last time I walked last Friday when it was minus 34, uh, there was cold air getting up under there and my belly got cold of all things. Okay, so here we go. This is the official start of the no talking walk around Wascana Lake in snow and blowing snow. And we're off.
Okay. I'll start talking now because that's the end of walking around the lake. That was brisker than I do when I'm talking. You probably heard me breathing. Uh, also, it's entirely possible the iPhone battery will die before I quite make it home. I had uh, two low uh, two low battery warnings there as I finished this side of the lake. So whether it'll make it the next couple of blocks home is up in the air. So I hope you enjoyed the non-talking walk. Just so you could hear the wind blow and so I could walk faster. I've done that once. I did it once in the rain, which was fun. Rain pattering on me. I knew there was going to be a lot of wind noise today anyway, so I thought I might as well work with it. It's actually getting warmer all this time. When I started, it was minus 24, minus 40 wind chill. And uh, it's supposed to warm all the way up to minus 12 before flipping around and starting down again once this snow goes through. We're supposed to get six or seven centimeters by early morning. Which means I've got to shovel tomorrow. Yay. I missed the last couple of days. It was just really cold and I had some other things that needed doing. And I knew that in the kind of temperatures we were having, minus 37 one morning when I got up, which is what? Minus, oh, 34 Fahrenheit. They start to get pretty close together at that point. I uh, knew that the gimbal wouldn't keep operating because it's quit on the, the two coldest walks I did. And the iPhone loses power really fast at cold temperatures. So uh, I didn't think it would make it either. And even today, the battery drained much faster than normal. I'm all bundled up and actually feeling way too hot. So I'm gonna unbundle a little to start cooling down on my last couple of blocks here. Just pull my hood off anyway. Lower my scarf. I thought I might have the place to myself, the lake to myself, but in fact there were, I passed one guy and two going the other way and a jogger of all things. So Saskatchewan people, at least some of us, <laughs> don't let the weather stop us for long. And there's a big difference between minus 24 and minus 34, which it was. That's almost 20 degrees Fahrenheit difference is what it was the coldest day. Minus 37. Actually, it was the coldest temperature I saw out at the airport where they do the official temperatures. It might have been lower away from the warming effects of things. Or maybe that's where the temperature I saw came from. I don't know. It wasn't environment Canada. But the weather network it probably gets its temperature from the same place. Right, the phone's hung in there for the last couple of blocks, we'll see. I just got up here, turn left and go a little ways, and I'll be home. The snow is, despite the fact the sun was kind of peeking through a few minutes ago, the snow is now thickening. And wherever I was exposed, I'm sure you heard the, uh, the sound of it, where I was sheltered, Mostly heard it up in the treetops. And a lot of that walk is sheltered. But if it's blowing across the lake, there are places where it really hits you hard. Which it did a couple of times. And it's piling up snow drifts, which slowed me down when I hit those. Those are much, much harder to walk through snow than on a clear path. But I did not keel over with a heart attack, so that's good. Hello, A. Just coming in at the end of this non-talking walk around Roscana Lake. And we'll go back and watch it. Fairyland doesn't have howling winds in minus 37 Celsius mornings we've had. At least I would hope not.
I think the little fairies would have trouble with that. They barely wear anything and they're tiny. They'd freeze to death if this was their fairyland. Snow-wise though, yes, it's pretty if you're into that sort of thing. I'm good with snow right up through um, now, basically. Once Christmas is over, today's Orthodox Christmas, uh, once that's over, it can melt to the next, you know, but maybe through January, February, but at the end of February, I'm ready for it to go for sure. But it usually doesn't. It's usually here till April, sometimes beginning of May, before we get rid of it all. And even then, you can have a late spring snowstorm as late as Victoria Day, third weekend in May, I've seen it. Okay, this is where we will stop. So, uh, thank you for walking with me on that non-talking walk around the lake. If you missed it, go back and watch it. The uh, proper version will be posted to YouTube a little later on, the higher def version. So, thanks again. Bye for now.